اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to talk about how to find an argument for discussion. Now, normally what happens is that most of the times, early career researchers may be stuck in finding the suitable argument for a discussion. Now, let's say I have found that there is a significant relationship between two variables in my study. Now, it's not enough just to mention that, okay, I have found a significant relationship. One has to explain why this relationship is significant. Now, it is problematic when you find that the relationship is insignificant, whereby you actually proposed that it is significant or it was to be significant. Now, in such cases, we are stuck and we have to find an argument. What is the suitable argument that actually helps us understand that this relationship can be insignificant? And these are the possible reasons for it. Now, when we are writing discussion, actually normally these are the steps that we undertake. The first step may be you briefly present the objectives or rationale of your study in one to two lines. Now, for each hypothesis, you present your results. So first you write that, okay, this link was substantiated or was not supported. Now, then you link that hypothesis with existing research on that hypothesis if there is an existing or previous research that has established that relationship or failed to establish that relationship. Now, the problem is where you have to explain why the relationship was significant or insignificant. Or when you have to link that explanation to the context. For example, higher education context or maybe in manufacturing sector or maybe in services sector. Now, finally, you have to explain the relationship considering the proposed theory that you have used in literature to explain the relationship. Now, these are a few critical ingredients, elements of a discussion section. However, the focus of this particular session is not on discussing each one of them, but rather finding a way to explain why was your relationship significant or insignificant. So we want to find an argument for our discussion section. Now, with the advent of AI and the booming use of AI in research, we are going to try to use AI for such purposes. However, there is a very important word of caution when using AI, as in all my other videos. Do not use it unless or until you understand what goes into a particular section or how a particular section is written. Otherwise, your research, your work will be of no use. So now I know how a discussion section should be structured. Now, once I know how my discussion section is structured, then I know what to find, where to find. And once I find something, I know where it should go. So it's very important that the early career researchers understand that what are the critical ingredients of each of the sections in, in a research paper and in a thesis. Now, moving on, how will I use AI to find my reasons, to find my arguments? So I've given you the word of caution and what is my finding? Now, in this case, my findings are that, let's say, my transformational leadership was found to have an insignificant impact on leader member exchange, let's say. Now, this is my finding and I want to find out why or what are the possible reasons for this insignificant effect. Now, to do so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use AI. And I'm going to find an argument using ChatGPT, BARD or other AI tools. So, let me use this.
So here is ChatGPT. Let's ask ChatGPT. Now give ChatGPT some information, some data to work with. Now let's ask, let me copy this whole thing and now let's ask ChatGPT. Now here are the possible reasons. Now go through do these reasons, all these reasons and see which ones can fit your context, your study setting, your objectives, your methodology. Now let me go to the cultural context first. Now, cultural differences can significantly impact leadership styles and interpersonal relationship. Transformational leadership, which emphasizes inspiration, motivation, and individual consideration, might not align with cultural expectations or norms prevalent in Pakistani higher education sector. Now, what is the culture of Pakistan? Again, it is a cultural context. So, let's see the Hofstede's cultural typology for Pakistan. Now, how would I know that I would have to go for Hofstede? Again, this is very important. And I've been emphasizing this all along in all my videos for the past three, four years. Reading. Use these tools. Like There is no denying that one has to use these tools. But again, one has to understand the value of reading. The more you read, the more you understand and the context, the setting, you, the more you get acquainted with the, the the topics, the areas that you will have to look for when you are writing your research paper. Now, let's say if I write here Pakistan. Now, Pakistan is high on power distance and motivation towards achievement and success, uncertainty avoidance, and it is high on collectivism as well. So, let's say here are my arguments and I can use the same query here in BARD and let's see what BARD gives me. Okay, I can further ask ChatGPT, can you be a little specific with respect to cultural context? Let's see if we get something else as well. Here it is. Again, I'm getting cultural aspect here as well. But it's not mentioning the type of culture. So I'm, un I'm interested in finding the type of culture here. So I can use the same query here. But let's see what we get here. Here it is. So Pakistan is high on power distance. Pakistan is a collectivist society. And transformational leadership with its focus on individualized consideration. So transformational leadership has a focus on individual consideration or individualized consideration. That's why it might be so that you are finding an insignificant impact of transformational leadership on leader member exchange. Now, this is a very valid argument, but I can't just put it in my paper. I need to have a proper reference for it. Now, Let's say transform transformational leadership with its focus on individualized consideration and personal development might not resonate as strong in a culture that emphasizes collective goals or individualized aspirations. Let me copy this argument and let me try find some reference for it. Again, you can put the same thing here and see what you get. Now, how do I find the reference? Now, I found, I've, I've found the argument. Now ask yourself, does it make sense? Obviously, the argument has to make sense. ChatGPT, Google Bard, or any other AI tool will give you several arguments. Now, if they say that you have got a small sample size, but you have got a sample size, let's say 800 people, now that's 
obviously does not make sense in in your case or in your study maybe it's it's saying that the measurement you have used has limited items but you used let's say a higher order construct maybe or maybe you have used seven eight items to measure leader member exchange or transformational leadership now in such case those arguments do not make sense so find a suitable argument or sorry find a suitable reference for the argument so i'm going to use different tools here they are you might come across other ai tools you can use those as well let's say if i want to use elicit so i've got elicit here and i'm going to ask the question i'm going to put this text that i copied from chat gpt and i'm going to transform it into a question so i can get some references why transformational leadership might not resonate as strongly in a culture that emphasizes on collective goals or let's say collectivism so i need to find an argument why or maybe some studies that have linked transformational leadership in a collectivist society and did not find a significant impact so i need to find a reference let's see what we get Now, transformational leadership may not resonate as strongly in cultures that emphasize collective collective goals or collectivism due to cultural context in which it operates. Now, Mithil, two thousand and fifteen. Click on it. Here is the paper. The title of the paper. Just put it in Google Scholar, and you will have the full reference. Now, go back. However, certain characteristics of collective cultures can facilitate the effectiveness of transformation. Now, that's a, com a contradictory argument. You can use this as well. The influence of transformational leadership on work related outcomes is moderated by collectivism with the style being more effective in individualistic cultures now this is what is your argument that why your transformational leadership does not lead to in work related outcomes or employee behaviors or leader member exchange because transformational leadership is focused on individuals individualized consideration and here is your reference as well now i'm going to use the same argument copy and now here is another tool uh, per perplexity.ai now i'm going to use the same argument here and i'm going to ask this and see what we get now here it is now here are the references here look at this look at this this you can click on it and you will have the full references here and here is the summary of it now transformational leadership might not resonate as strongly in a culture that emphasizes collective goals or collectivism due to several reasons transformational leadership is defined as a style that heightens the con consciousness of collective trust among the organization members and helps them achieve their collective goals research has shown that collectivism moderates the relationship between transformational leadership and job satisfaction indicating that the impact of transformational leadership may be may vary in collectivist cultures now you have to read all this and see what is in synchronization with your findings what helps you explain your findings now again you will not be able to make use of it unless or until you have the subject knowledge unless or until you understand how discussion section is written now similarly you can use google scholar as well so what you can do is again i'm going to do the same thing but i'm going to do it differently this time all in text and then i'm going to paste this but i'm not going to use it like this i have to use keywords here so let's say transformational leadership and how it works in let's say with collective goals or collectivism it in parenthesis i'm going to share the whole link where you can learn all this how to write all in text in text in title in google scholar now here are the studies that have focused on transformational leadership in collectivist culture or you can use individualism here as well read through these papers see what argument they are using to explain the impact of transformational leadership in such cultures use those arguments to build your discussion now 
let's see if we've got anything else here now so this is how you can use these ai tools to develop find your arguments now this is all just one example you can use it for any other example most of the times we are uh, having issues when explaining the reasons for insignificant moderation so you can use it for that or significant mediation or maybe for any other argument that you are having trouble with thank you very much